pajamas. Um, but today I thought we would make Four Thieves vinegar. Um, I have never made it before. I'm not sure why. Um, you know, I've read about it forever, but I, I've been reading a lot about hoodoo lately. And so I thought today I would make some. And I'm sure lots of you probably already know how to make this and have your own special recipe. But I thought for the newer witchlings out there that I would just go ahead and, you know, make a video for them. So in this bowl, I have um, rosemary, thyme, sage, and root. And I've already enchanted these herbs. I just need to kind of break them up and swirl them around. Um, you can, to make four thieves vinegar, you can choose four of a whole list of herbs. Let me look. I had to make notes. Um, rue, sage, mint, tansy, rosemary, lavender, thyme, peppercorn, black peppercorn, coriander, wormwood, or cayenne pepper. Um, but the, the only, the trick is you have to pick four because four thieves vinegar derives from a old story from four thieves in the 15th century when the plague was happening that went around who made this special concoction herbal blend with vinegar and because they had drank it they were able to go in and rob houses while everybody was you know sick and dying from the plague supposedly they were um eventually caught and sentenced to death but they bargained for their lives with this recipe. So, it, oh, there's an ant for my herbs. Oh, poor ant, I didn't mean to kill you. I was just gonna wipe you off. Oh no, oh dear. Um, I completely lost my train of thought again. Um, but anyway, this recipe is used in hoodoo for protection, personal protection, um, you could use it with other hoodoo things that you're doing, like laying tricks, which I don't know enough about to discuss. Um, you could put it in your bath water. You could even drink it. You could use it for banishing, healing. So it has lots of different uses. And to make it, all you need are four of the herbs that I mentioned, some apple cider vinegar. Let me grab it. and a jar so i've got this um supposedly it's better if you use red wine vinegar but i don't have any of that so i'm just going to use the apple cider vinegar and some people put an ounce of camphor or how, i'm not sure how you pronounce that in it but i don't have any of that either so you're going to need a jar or some kind of container and either um, if you're using a container with a metal top, you're going to need like a piece of wax paper or parchment paper to put underneath because the vinegar reacts with the metal. So I'm going to break these herbs up. And like I said, I've already enchanted them and put my intention. Ask them if they know what they're supposed to do. Um, I've got some nice, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but I've got some nice Kapal and is it Yerba Santa herb burning in my um, cauldron. So I've got the mood set nicely. You don't have to burn incense while you're doing this. I just, um, to me it helps trigger my uh, primordial part of the brain. It helps me get in sort of a ritualistic mood. I also have a working candle lit, um, and, I've, and most of the authors are, are lit and going, so it kind of makes for a nice atmosphere, helps me, you know, helps me focus on the intent of what I'm doing, and around my cauldron, I'm not sure if you can see, I have some, some smoky quartz crystals around it that have been programmed to kind of keep any stinking thinking that I may do from getting in this Four Thieves vinegar. So there's the rosemary and I'm just going to break this up and we'll see if it's enough. You're supposed to have 
if you're using fresh herbs. Oh my goodness, a spider. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Wow, that's a yellow spider. I have to put that outside. I'll be right back.